Hi, my name is Bria Mitchell. I'm 15 years old and I attend Astroma High School. And I wrote this poem about my father. Brown cylinders with inch long necks, red and white labels cover the midsections. The word Budweiser tattooed on the sensor. They feed my father's bad habit and makes his pipe dreams come true. He harbors eyes the color of blood, rolling them like bowling balls, swerving into the gutter. He shudders. When he doesn't possess his aphrodisiac, intimately he makes love to his addiction. It's fiction when he leaves and says he'll return quickly. He inches along like maternal labor in my paper. He calls every now and then to say, you know I'm your daddy, right? You know I'm still your daddy. If you ask me, I never had one, and I can only blame it on the alcohol. On every 26th of August, I wonder if he remembered I existed. I enlisted myself into that one-man army, battling my subconscious self aside of me. Long for a father's love, the other. Long to knock the head off his shoulders and catapult his soul into a place where it will burn for eternity. To remind him of that first sip of gray goose that burned his esophagus. But my pain still wouldn't compare. It's not fair that you can move on and I'm still stuck without the love of a father. And not just any father, but my father. Because my life is constantly getting hard, not knowing firsthand what the real love of a man is. And you ran away from your family to make another. And I've ended up with three half-brothers and three sisters who can't get along. And one that I should have known and I want to hate you. Realizing at the age of 10 that even though you can have a heart as big as the sun, no one's love can at least feel it 50% of the way than your daddy's on the day that you were born. And I could have sworn that I knew you.